everybody, and welcome back to the podcast. I'm Tanner. I'm Nick. And uh, this is Witty Banter. This is our podcast where we talk about uh, a lot of random shit and uh, <laughs> sometimes have guests on and stuff. So if you're new here, think Wait about up, subscribing and uh, sticking around. Uh, but today we're actually talking about a uh, controversial topic that can go way down deep in the rabbit hole. Um, a lot of people are going to think this one's out there. Uh, yeah, exactly. But it's not really that out there if you look at, how, first off, how many people believe in this sort of thing and like how many followers it has. Right. And, uh, I mean, there's been whole TV shows and stuff based around mm-hmm. it. So go ahead and tell them the topic. Are aliens real? How about Bigfoot? What do you think? Leave a comment down below before you get too far into the video and we push you in one way or the other. Comment now with the timestamp. Let us know what you believe in. Renderforest.com. And we're back. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so where, you where want to start? We, where do we tackle this from? I mean, um, so there's a, there's a million different angles we could go at this. I feel like one thing that would really be good for aliens is, I don't know how much you know per se, and how much you have ready, uh-huh. but if you could like present information of what people claim, because I pride myself in being a pretty good historian. Okay. I'm not the best. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a great historian, but I know a little bit. I, I know, I would say... A, a fair amount more than the average person. And, right. I, and I have, I almost have a bachelor's degree in it. And I've actually done all except my minor, which I right. have to decide what minor's going to be in. But I've done all the classes at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga for the history, with the exception of like historical, two historical writing classes. Right. So I feel like I have enough college education. I'd say, I would say what I would consider a bachelor level. Because um, I've done everything for the major except for two writing classes that involve history. Right. So I have a little bit of, of yeah, Nick can kind of have a fair opinion in about this. aliens. Yeah, well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> about aliens, <laughs> yeah. Nick's got a degree in aliens. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you go to school for? I'm big foot aliens. <laughs> yeah, I'm big foot alien boy. <laughs> No. Bubba down there drinking his Budweiser on the porch knows more about Bigfoot than we do. <laughs> he probably does. Yeah. No, what I was getting at is what I have, a lot of people claim the aliens have visited Earth. Right. And they point to a lot of historical a situations. A lot of stuff. There's a whole TV show called Ancient Aliens. Yeah. You know, it, you know, copyright the little picture in. Right. And um, so anyway, so a lot of people claim that's what I'm saying. I have... A de- not a degree in history, right. but I've almost... A- you know a lot about history. I've studied, yeah, I've yeah. taken college level classes about history. So okay. I have a little bit I can talk about it. I no have... expert, no expert. And there's probably a lot, you might probably know a few people that know a lot more about history than I ever will. Right. But in this subject, I consider myself somewhat knowledgeable. Right. Okay. <clears throat> um, this is two very, very large topics. Um, oh, yeah. There's two stances, there's a stance on each that I believe are the most convincing for aliens and one for Bigfoot. And those are the only two that I ever really argue or or talk about. You're, you're pro-alien? No, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, with aliens and Bigfoot... There's... I'll go ahead and tell you, I'll be anti-both. If you want to take the position of being pro, I'll be anti-both because I don't believe in either. Okay, okay wait, see, see, I'm... I wouldn't say that I necessarily believe. What I would say is these are the most convincing arguments that I've heard. You've, you've researched this. The, yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go first. Okay. Tell, me, tell me the okay. convincing argument and I will use, because I've talked to a lot of people about it. I know okay. a lot of strange people who believe in a lot of strange things. Aliens. We'll okay. do aliens first. Okay. The you most can, you can, can take it from me. I, t- I went on about my education, but... You can go from historical perspective, or you can even go modern. Okay. And I promise, um, no matter what you'll say. My most um, convincing argument with aliens is that um, they are us from the future. <gasps> and they are coming back in time. Yeah, we've had this talk before. Because They're coming that's... back in time. And what the matter is, the reason why they look all weird and stuff is because there's been an accident, there's been a fallout, something happened, and they're coming back and taking people now up into their ship. And the reason why they're always like, um, they did sexual things to me, is they're trying to find out um, a way to continue the human race in the future, and they're trying to find someone here that can help that. Okay, see, when I talk to people, 
and every time the alien topic comes in, they throw up all the facts. That I lo- see, we, me and Tanner have been friends for a long time, and we've talked about things in the past. With the argument he uses, what I throw up is, well, they're from other worlds. I'm like, it's more likely we invented time travel in the future and are trying to fix a bad situation. So you literally used an argument that I use uh-huh. against people against me. Yeah. On that one. There's, there's no way you can argue that. It's like you the can't. Whole, it, it, like, there's the no way to argue against it. You can't prove because right. you, you can't. There's no It's like the proof. Matrix. Yeah. You cannot prove against it. You can't prove And that, that's, the, that's the most convincing back. argument that I've found because it explains and why. And a lot of historical events that happened in history, they, the ancient aliens always say there's like an alien right. somewhere it, near. It explains why they would be there would be to help to better something in the future. Or... <gasps> Another idea. Mm-hmm. What if there were catastrophic events throughout history and they stopped that it. that ended like the human race was basically kept to very few right. because of these things and they were like, you know what, we can go back and fix these things. What right. if that's like all oh, the ancient and alien guys were like well, the technology, the pyramids and stuff. What if people from the future went back and like we're gonna help our past yeah. civilization so there'll be more of us? Like yeah. what if there weren't very many humans And that that's why the pyramids time? are here and that's what if that's why, why they look different and stuff? They're like, we'll go back in time and help our Mm -hmm. our ancestors, and that will like change things in the future. And then, what if it caused bad things? Think about it. Exactly. What if if World War II was never supposed to have happened, but somebody interfered? Yeah. Think about that. There's a lot of good and bad that might have happened. Now, I I do have to say that, like I've said, that is the most convincing argument to aliens that. That's I've the only heard. argument I've ever heard because I use it that you, somebody can't be like, no, you're wrong because this, because there's nothing you can argue against and you can't prove that people eventually in the future did not find out time travel. Right, right. My, now, my my whole thing with little green aliens, little green men on another planet, I don't, I don't believe in that. That's, that's so um, far-fetched. I mean, I have so many arguments against that. Like, for example, have you seen our planet? Right. Hurricanes, tornadoes, right. earthquake, lightning, yeah. disease, animals. If you're an outside like alien, see we think of aliens in the in the aspect of like they're like us. They they're right. curious, they want to explore, they want to know about. Right. They want to even if they are humanoid in a, in a way, why would you want to Have you seen this planet? Yeah. Have you seen this why, planet? Why would you want there is so much going on here. If you were to, if you were, you had no idea what a human being was, or or our history, right? And you float in your little spaceship, and you're looking down at the world. Look at what we do to each other. Look at what we do to our planet. Yeah. Look what our planet does to us. Look what other animals do to each other. This, yeah. I mean, there there are spots on the, you know, of extreme heat, extreme cold. There are devastating storms. The yeah. Earth is constantly moving. Uh, why would you want to land here? And even like War of the Worlds, you've got to look at diseases. You're watching human beings fall Wait, over see, dead all the time from diseases and stuff. <clears throat> that That's a, another like huge conception or whatever is that either either one, they're, they're looking for a new planet to inhabit. So like there's something wrong with their planet and they're sending out people to, to find a new planet and they're like, well, they live on that planet. Let's see if we could. Or they are looking to like conquer our planet and like Conquer. eat us. That, that, that that's and also like still our resources. That's also giving the impression that we would not be able to defeat them. Right. That they are like they, and they're a also, lot smarter than remember, us. Remember, they're looking down at our little thing, and if they've been observing for long enough, they know that we have mastered the art of everything. killing. Well, they know everything. They've also seen how good we are at killing, but especially they, each but other. They have they have um, surprise on their side, or whatever it is I'm trying to say right now. But like we know nothing. That they well, they're not too stealthy or technology because well, there's video of them. Even though it looks like somebody, like what's his name? Like I think it was David Lopez did a thing. He's like, oh my god, a UFO! And he grabs his professional camera. No, don't use that. And he holds yeah. his laptop. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's all the yeah. footage we have of them. Yeah. But with that being said, though, um, I love David Lopez. Anyways, um, with that being said, though, they can't be too stealthy because people get them on camera and stuff all the time. So you believe in something? Them. No, I don't. You just said that. They people, get caught on camera all get, the time. I'm saying, if you believe in the whole thing, is number one at point of evidence. They point to look at all the pictures and videos. And right. stuff. They're getting something. I don't. They're getting. It's yeah, that. they're getting something. I don't, I don't believe it's that though. But um, with all the good quality images that we have, like, I know, a right? One. Yeah. But if they were real, hypothetically, then they're not that good at stealth because people have got them on camera right. and stuff before. People have drew them in like paintings and stuff mm. from back in the day. So I mean. The, How great is the, is their technology if they're getting caught on film? Right. 
there, there is a lot of stuff through history that is very, 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 very hard to explain. There has to be a reasonable explanation for these things, but a lot of people jump to the aliens helped or the aliens showed how. See, and or, I, I just think, and I swear to you, Tanner, I just, I feel like people do not give ancient people the credit they deserve. Oh, I agree. They're like, I agree. Human beings are incredibly intelligent. And yes, we've come up with different ways of doing things, but I mean, we, we as a species, you know, have, we've overcome so much throughout time. If you look at us all as one group, Dude. We've overcome so much. We've done so many things. And I feel like these ancient people put blood, sweat, and tears into doing these things. And they have these magnificent accomplishments. And somebody's like, they could have never done that. That this, was aliens. This, this, is, this is what I believe. I believe that we are held back by our accomplishments. We're held back by how far we've come. Wow. Because, like, That's deep, well, the, the reason being is we're looking at, let's say, the pyramids. Mm -hmm. And we're like, this is physically impossible with what we have today. We'll stop looking at it with what we have today. Look at what they would have had and how they would have done it. And I think that we just haven't thought about how they would have done it the right way yet. Because we're like, well, the only way we can explain to move this would be to, like, make this crane and move it here. That's not how they did it. Well, I mean, the, the, we're held back because we're thinking of what we have today, not what they had. Well, I, I don't. Uh, Tanner has has made it clear to me: do not turn this into a history segment. This is a this is a discussion. Right. But I mean, there a lot a lot of the things we have. And I'm trying to make this as unhistorical as possible. Is like the ancient Egyptians, for example, they came up with you know kind of like their own form of writing and right. stuff like that. One of the things was to keep track of who was doing what. It was a huge undertaking to build these things. Right. So they came up with like. You know, who's doing the management things? They would write stuff down and be like, okay, da da da, this, da da da, da supplies, right. blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so yeah, I mean, it's possible. It's extremely hard. It's extremely difficult. And some things were probably used with slave labor, which is never okay. But right. I mean, that's how they got it. They basically took another human being and worked them to death and was yeah. like, how many people can we go through before we can get this built? Exactly. And they did amazing things. I feel like just, it's just so many people are just quick to say, well, they couldn't have done that when, yeah, they could. They could have. Yeah, they, could. they did. With an, they yeah, obviously exactly. did. With enough willpower, right. you, know, you can do things, you know? It's just, you're right. I, I, one, one thing I will agree with you is that we, we don't look at it. We look at it as how we would do it today and be like, well, they wouldn't have been able to do that. But with, if you want something done and you have enough people, you will figure out. You'll figure we, it we out. We have done, even like there have been historical like records of things we have done that are absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because look at it this way. People are like, well, they wouldn't have been able to have that technology back then. What about in the future, somebody looks back and go, well, did they really make an atom bomb in the 1940s? Ex yeah. Is that really possible? Maybe that was alien technology because they wouldn't have really been smart enough to figure that out. Yeah. But we were. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a really good way to look at it. Yeah, because in the future, they're going to be like, the 1940s, you know, they, you know, their their planes, you know, weren't even, like, pressurized. Yeah. You know, they're hanging out of planes that they really came up with splitting the atom and that, you know, they, they really yeah. came up with that. And, yeah, we did. So, I mean, that's one way to look at it. You understand? So, yeah, it's possible. And so, I mean, that's one big point that needs to be made is, like, probably in the future, people look back to, like, World War II and they're like, there's no way they could have done that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I really like that point. I've never thought about that before. So eventually, it's going to get even further, and people are going to be like, yeah, well, you know. And they'll turn around and point to things that aren't that old to us. Yeah. That we know people did. Even though there's probably some people out there still going to say, well, no, they did get that from aliens because there's no way we could have thought of yeah. it. Yeah. But, anyways, go ahead. What were you going to say? I, I would say that <clears throat> there's a lot of things that we don't understand now that this is a such now, bro. this is such a a huge rabbit hole like because back in the day like uh, what world war 2 whatever yeah. um hitler had people scouring the globe for religious artifacts aliens and he believed that yeah. he figured out like uh he time travel there's people that believe that Hitler figured out time travel. 
I've never heard that. Really? Before. That's I, that's a first. Really? I've never heard that. Okay, so whenever um, it sounds like you've been watching a lot of Indiana Jones and stuff. Da 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 da. da. No, um, but <laughs> um, I didn't say insert was, intro here. <laughs> theme it music. Was, um, it was actually like. <laughs> On the news in like the sixties or seventies, that um, a bell shape yeah the bell thing yeah, yeah fell out of the sky, it fell out of the sky yeah it just fell out of the sky. Now the Nazis were building something that looked like it was actually I believe in German it was called the bell, but a lot of like from what I understand in my history, especially World War Two, that it, they were working on a vertical takeoff like the uh, the Harrier yes. jets in the Marine Corps where they they vertically take off. That's yes. what the Germans were working on. Because when we came back after World War Two, at places like you know Area Fifty One, right. stuff has been declassified. Yeah, yeah. They had test out things out there where they were trying to vertically take off. Right, and we believe that we get we, that, we have we got that, that. Can do that. Yeah, well, like I said, the Harrier jet, the yeah. Marine Corps. I don't know if they still use, but they used to use. I'm pretty sure the F thirty five that we're going on now can do that. Like it's like the tail goes down yeah. and it, like vertically takes off. So yeah. I mean, yeah, we yeah that that that's what the bell was. Well, see, that the Germans had, but you've heard it was a, a so time travel they, device. Well. There was a there was a bell shaped thing fell out of the sky over like Kansas, and like whenever people went to it, the government came in and took it back. This is a conspiracy theory, but um, whenever people started like the pictures that people got of it before like the government came and took it, um, match up almost identically to drawings that Hitler had. Um, in like one of his compounds that they believe was used for time travel. You said this was in the 60s, right? Wouldn't it seem more likely that we had copied their design and were working on it, and then when it crashed, we didn't want the Russians to figure out the secret like military technology we were working on, so the government immediately went out there and was like, nothing happened here, don't worry about it, because our test craft, like our test aircraft is very well could be Would that make more sense than Hitler invented time travel and landed in Kansas? That Hitler <laughs> created time travel and landed, landed in Kansas in the and 1960s. He's, he's, he's running around somewhere today, old like Elvis, and he's hanging he's out. He's alive. Uh, he wouldn't be hanging out with Elvis. No, Elvis. he wouldn't. Elvis but wouldn't put up. With he that. is alive and kicking because he made it out of there. A lot of people said that he just. He here's a question for you: You ever seen the body of Hitler? Yeah, we have. Ha, don't, ha, we have you seen, seen it personally? <laughs> No, I haven't seen it first. Right, how do My you God, know? what do I know to be real? <laughs> exactly. No, we actually that was actually talking in one of the history things I was reading about. We found like dental records that matched. He was he was torched. Yeah, because that can't be faked. <laughs> Tanner, I <yeah>. am <laughs> Tanner's a conspiracy theorist. I'm living in I'm living me. in 2018. Tanner's in 2020 right now. <laughs> Coming back to me. My <laughs> Piss ant knowledge. <laughs> anyways, anyways, we, we need to get on to, to Bigfoot. Well, I'm just going to wrap it up with that. I don't go, believe go anything ahead. about the aliens. I, you I don't believe in the aliens nice. at all. I, The whole Area 51 thing, I believe, was just us during the Cold War trying to further military technology. I will say one thing about the Nazis that you touched on is they were big on increasing like yes. how to make better weapons, keep pushing, study. Right. I mean, they were forcing scientists to work around the clock, like come up with better, better stuff. Right. I mean, look at, what, look at some of the stuff they did come up with. I mean, you have the King Tiger tank. You've got, you know, the Sturmgewehr, the first assault rifle, an actual assault rifle, so, you know, came out. You you don't believe in aliens? Mm-mm. Why is Area 51 off limits? Because for, well, well, now it has such a nostalgia about it. Everybody keeps trying to jump the fence to get in there. So right. what's going on about it. But back in the day, I believe that's where they were testing stealth aircraft. Okay, but like why is F, it still off limits? The F, um, if you let me finish like that. I think like the SR-71 Black, I'm pretty sure The Black Hawk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the Black Hawk, but that was one of them. Yeah. But the, no, the SR-71 Blackbird. Yeah. The one that was hypersonic, the one we were yeah, spying yeah, yeah. on the Soviet Union with. Yeah. That's where it was housed. That's cool. Why is you, it still off limits? Why is it still, it's a government, it's a military base. How many military bases do you know you can go on to right now? A like, lot. Oh, a lot of them. You can just walk on any military base. Hey, nowadays. yo, I'm here to see Joey. Thanks. They give you a little pass, but I mean, it's, it's, it's the same... Okay, here's another thing that you have a problem with your whole alien theory with Area 51. Okay. It's falling apart. Have you seen like modern footage? Uh, maybe on the like, outside of it's falling apart. Maybe not on the inside. Maybe there's still things that the government has worked on that they store there they don't want the public to know. Well, maybe... Uh, what What is it that the government says or police officers? If you ain't doing nothing wrong, you ain't got nothing to hide. If you want to bring that into the point of the government, <laughs> then there's so... Then that's a whole other video if you want yeah. to bring up... Hey, government, if you ain't got nothing illegal, then what are you hiding, dude? Then you're going to go down a rabbit hole that's going to end somewhere in right. North Korea. Well, okay. I'm going to say 
I don't believe in aliens. No, um, we we can't we can't prove that we there's not any. Um, if there I, are, I believe they're they're probably like microscopic organisms floating around in some right, like primitive right. water source somewhere what, on a foreign planet. Something that I I will go out on a limb and say, um, you know, some people think we're the aliens. Yeah. Have you heard that theory? I have heard that. But yeah. we're, we're the aliens. The, the dinosaurs yeah. were the natural people here, yeah. and like some of the little mammals and stuff. But then when we landed, we were the aliens, and we don't remember where we yeah. came from. That we were on the asteroid. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That it was. I've like, heard that. It, you've heard that before. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard it. Yeah. You like that theory? Yeah, I like, like it. No. <laughs> um. Yeah, that we were the aliens, and we've taken over. We just didn't know that we arrived very here. Very well, could be. Because, I mean, think about it. Out of all the, I mean, we're not like, well, I mean, that's actually a lot. We're actually a lot like other animals. Yeah. But, I mean, with our level of intelligence. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing else on the planet that matches ours. Our intelligence, no. Right. We are the masters of this planet, mainly due to our intelligence. Whether you believe that was given to us from God, or whether we just naturally developed it, eating better food, just right. happened, or whatever you believe, there's right. a theory out there that says we are aliens who have landed on this planet, and we took over. Is that what you believe? No, God, no, no, that's not what I believe at all. But that is, I was just, we're talking right. about it. I'm like, that is a theory. Some people believe that we were the aliens who come. We have already come. They have already taken over. <laughs> It's us. Right. <laughs> it's us. It's us. What's that Star Wars meme going We did it. Of course I know him. He's me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No big. Um, so anyways. I, I will go out on a limb and say I do not believe in um, aliens. Um, for the simple fact of I am religious. And so I believe in like demons and angels and stuff like that. And I believe that if there was something like that for the fact that I believe in religion, I feel like we would know. I don't believe into it, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I'm just gonna stay away from my beliefs. The less, right. the less people know, like about my political and religious beliefs. Well, that's why I. I, 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 I understand you. you there. Yeah, you, you were you were pretty broad about it, but I'm just not even gonna go there. I don't believe it just for the simple fact of, um, like I said, there might be aliens out there, but I don't see them. If you look at the stuff that's in space, to ignore our planet. Yeah. Look at the things that are in space. Yeah. Navigate through that. Yeah. Are you, are you serious? Magnetars, supermassive black holes, yeah. you know, asteroid belts. I mean, there are things like, there's even things we put into space, like screws and stuff, that are going yeah. like thousands of miles an hour just flying and through space. You have space. to avoid it. Yeah, exactly. And then for them to come to our planet, and also look that at our planet, they'd have to enter through the atmosphere. Yeah. Have you seen things when they go through the atmosphere? Yeah. It's a big fireball. Even our, even the things we put that return, they, it, it goes through the atmosphere. Well, we would see them entering, or at least yeah. you think, especially NASA with all the weather radar and all that yeah. stuff, we would see them coming through that. You would think. So, no, I absolutely believe it's just hogwash. If there is if there is alien life out there, that I, I pro, like I told Tanner earlier, it's probably like some little single-cell organism that's inside of some little, like buried deep down on the bottom of a planet where there's like some volcanic juices going on, a little bit of water circulating. And that's the thing that everybody's making Hollywood movies on, this little no-brained organism yeah. that's just like, Maybe making another Earth. I mean, theoretically. Maybe. Maybe yeah. there's. Maybe we're not. You know. I mean, you, you bring in religion. We're gonna have to cut Bigfoot for part two in another video. But if you think, you know, you bring in religion and stuff. But I mean, just as a simple, like from a scientific perspective, I mean, it's possible that maybe we were an anomaly, but maybe we're not the only one. Maybe there's another Earth out there forming somewhere. Not that they're going to have intelligence. A whole nother conversation. I mean, it's, it, we're in. The, we're in the realm of conspiracy right. here. So I mean, is it possible that? The, what happened here, the conditions were just right, could it happen somewhere else? I mean, some people could say no if you believe in God, and I respect that. You know, if everybody's tell their own opinion and stuff. But if you want to go just from a logical, scientific perspective, right. I mean, it's it was a one in a million chance that we formed, everything happened like it right. did. One in a trillion, you know, maybe even bigger than that. You know, that it, you know, what are the odds of it ever happening, and it did happen, is incredible. So, but what if it, if the odds were good for it to happen once, then theoretically the odds are there for it to happen yeah. again. Which means somewhere on the other side of wherever, boom, and the whole thing could start all over again. Almost identical to this planet. And possibly even have human beings. You want to talk about crazy odds? This is off topic, but <clears throat> um, just think about what are the chances of me and you meeting? Oh, incredibly slim. Incredibly slim. Well, not that slim, though. We live now, hang in on. Now, hang areas. on. Now, hang on. What's the chances of your mom and dad meeting and having you? 
Uh, now, let's just say that your mom and dad, what's the chances of them having sex at that exact moment and the one out of four million that you actually are the one that made it out? You're going down a road. And then I that one, my family made, and it all came down for me and you to meet. What are the chances? One in... A yeah. Google? A Google? A Googleplex? A Googleplex. One in a Googleplex. <laughs> One in a Googleplex. That's the number I'm using now. Yeah. One in a Googleplex. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. It is, it is the crazy. odds. The, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We'll, cut we'll this talk short. about Bigfoot in a part two episode. Yeah, we uh, we've been off a little more than we could chew with this one. Uh, we usually aliens do that. turned out to be a very large topic. So we're gonna talk about Bigfoot in a uh, part two. Um, if you like it, please comment down below and let us know. Uh, so be looking for that one coming in the next uh, week or two. But uh, maybe three. Yeah, maybe even three weeks from now. Uh, we, yeah, we have a lot going on in the next few weeks. Uh, the background's going to be changing and stuff. Uh, but we got some yeah. exciting stuff coming up in the future. Huh? Yeah. Big plans. But yeah, that's it for this one. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give it a like. And uh, think about subscribing, hitting that notification bell so these get sent straight to your phone instead of just scrolling and randomly finding us. Uh, if you're watching this, or, well, watching, if you're listening to this on any uh, podcast, <laughs> you're watching this app, on a device that doesn't allow any kind of video. Right, or yeah. Or an app that yeah. allows no video. Um, headphones, listen to speakers, whatever. What happened to uh, consuming? Consuming. I love it, but you always bitch when I say consuming. <laughs> Um, because I mean, it's, I got you. I got you. If you're consuming this anywhere, <laughs> you consume podcast. Be sure to consume it on a regular basis by hitting that subscription button, and uh, maybe even think about leaving a rating so other people can find it, so they can consume our content. What are we? And all the consumption will happen. What are we like? One out of one out of five <sighs> dentists approve of us, or something like That's that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, thanks for coming along, guys, in all seriousness. But uh, we'll see you next Monday. We'll see you.